This is a tall task today for the Jets to take on a Cowboys team that is arguably the most talented team in the NFL top to bottom. We have a large fan base, the largest fan base uh, in the country. So the fact of the matter is, you know when you talk Cowboys, you're going to get numbers. People are going to tune in because people want to know about the Cowboys. There is never a normal day in social, and we're always on our toes. Things change real time all the time. You know, we're ready to adjust on the fly. But our social media team just in the past five years has grown from there used to be only one videographer to now where they have a team of, I believe, eight people. This is Jason, one of our shooters. Wherever the team is, we're gonna be there and we're gonna have our cameras rolling. And we got another guy coming up. And give our fans as much of an inside look as possible. So you're great, great man. So you're great. Guys, you grow. The responsibility that we have to put on the best fan experience that we possibly can. Three, two, roll it, track it. It's chaos, but it's controlled chaos. Okay, gentlemen, welcome to game day. My name is Mike McCord. I'm the equipment director here with the Cowboys. Uh, this is my 35th season. Some teams actually use their home stadium as part of their everyday facilities. We're not one of those teams. So for us, every game is a road game, technically. Coming from Frisco to Arlington or going from Frisco to Washington, it doesn't matter, it's still a road game. And it's nice to do that because when the players show up to the stadium, they know it's game day. Over the years, I've had plenty with all the players that I've had here. One of my favorites was Dion, and we noticed that he always liked to lay his complete uniform on the ground, starting with his helmet to his bandana, the gloves, all that was all, it looked like somebody had just laid him out with a truck. And so uh, I thought, man, man, now we actually signed him. I got to find a place for him at the old stadium where he can lay out all that stuff and it's not in the way of everybody else walking by. We're carrying a roster of about 75, 76 players. We do an offensive side, a defensive side of the locker room. So all of that kind of has to come into play. Plus you have egos amongst the players. So some guys like to be next to other guys. And so you have to kind of know their personalities and who they like. Hunter Lupke and Deuce Vaughn, right? So they're both rookies, but they've been friends since they've shown up together, both running backs, Hunter, Deuce. Every time I see these two guys together, so I lockered them right next to each other. For game one at home, we always like to wear our traditional white jersey for game one. That's key. It's one that's really recognizable. Everybody knows the star. When you have that helmet pop and then you have the star, it just, it's like lights on, showtime. It's the Dallas Cowboys. That's what it needs to be. So I think a combination of the pant, the helmet, all of that coming together, it just makes for a good look. He's game day ready. Cowboys not only looking for that 2-0 start, but they're looking for their first win over the New York Jets since 2007. Ooh, is today the day that streak comes to an end? My day typically starts, uh, I take my dog on a walk. It is game day. I'm on my pregame walk with Mr. Maverick. Man. I have coffee, go to yoga, kind of center myself for the storm that is coming. I'm a big runner, so I try to get up and get a run in. Uh, get ready, and then uh, usually I try to get to the stadium about three hours before the game. Good morning. Morning. Beautiful day. Yeah, no doubt. I don't have a ton of, of, of rituals, but there are a few things that happen every single game day. Let me pray for you. All right. Always start the day with a prayer with my mom that's in East Texas just to kind of, you know, get our mind right for the game. Father, I pray for protection and safety over the day. These things I pray, amen. Amen. Love you, baby. Bye. Bye. I get to the stadium, make sure everybody's got scripts. Our scripts are upstairs, did they take them off? Okay, sweet. Make sure everybody's got things that they need for the day and then, uh, then I'll take a walk, just going through the day in my head so that I can walk into a control room with the most calm, prepared, confident mind that I can. 
So we'll meet with all the staff here in just a bit. Um, in about 15 minutes, everyone will show up and kind of get settled in. Then we'll go through the day schedule. Hey guys, we'll get going here in just a few minutes. Just so everybody knows, these guys are following me through pregame and I'm Mike, so watch your mouth now. This is obviously one of the most intense days, just with it being the home opener and all the, the extra bells and whistles that we'll have for, for this one. We'll have 75,000 rally towels on all the seats. So when you, when you get 90,000 to 100,000 people in here all waving rally towels, it's a pretty, pretty special time. Welcome to the 2023 regular season. There's new things that we didn't have incorporated into the preseason game. So those we'll walk through and, and make sure everybody's on the same page. Yes, sir. So the on wipe is the Stays same. The, the off wipe yep. is Espanol. First yep. quarter and third, third quarter. quarter. Yep. These fans, you know, spent hard earned money to come to these games. And I think that comes with a massive amount of responsibility and, and to me, I take great pride in making sure that everyone that, that steps foot into our stadium has the most unbelievable fan experience that they could possibly have. We've got a new video at 83, which is a 15th anniversary stadium video uh, for the season, and then we kick off. Any questions up to that point? Sweet. Okay. All right, man, let's go get them. Yep, See you, rock and roll, brother. It's game day! I'm Brittany Johnson. I'm the director of social media for the Dallas Cowboys. My role is to oversee all of the social content, which includes Dallas Cowboys, Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders, AT&T Stadium, the Star in Frisco, and then we just launched our Cowboys in the Community Instagram account. Across all of social, my team will be posting over 100 posts easily. Video, photo, in-game, out-of-game, food at the stadium, we cover it all. Talking with players about social strategy can get to be some really good conversation because um, understanding what type of stories they want to tell and, and I would say we see it as a collaboration with them. Best part about my job Honestly, looking at DMs and comments when fans love our content, that feels so good. And we do look at the DMs, and sometimes they're not nice. But I cherish the nice ones. Those make it worth it. What up, man? How, are we doing? How are you? Good. Happy game day. Players are going to start arriving probably around noon. Um, we'll capture player arrivals, and we'll start posting warm-ups kickoff and then game let's get it I'm Caden Gates and I'm the media producer for the Cowboys digital team we do over 20 shows a week from broadcast to little gas station videos that you see when you're pumping your car we literally have our own TV studio and control room. I smile because we, we're so blessed. I mean, this beautiful studio that I'm sitting in now, we have a state-of-the-art podcast studio that we just redesigned. We do about eight podcasts on any given day. And so the facilities are outstanding. Uh, it gives us a, a really great backdrop to tell some interesting stories. So it is Sunday morning, it is 11.33. Call time is 12.30 for the rest of my crew and talent, but I admit I like to get here a little bit early just to make sure all my ducks are in order. Our show starts at two, that's more I'm more worried about right now. We got an hour long pregame show today, so we need to make sure everything's ready to go. I try to think as a fan, what would do I want to hear about them? But you know, everyone talks about Micah. From Micah Parsons. Micah Parsons. Dak. Dak Prescott. Lamb and all these guys. CD Lamb. CD Lamb. But there's other guys too that make an impact on this team and that's the difference between us and the big shows is we focus on all 53 and not just the top five. And then defensively, the entire defense. Yes, Micah Parsons went out there and ate, but guess what? There was more guys in the pride that went out there and got something to eat as well. I mean, when the schedule came out, you circled the Jets game just because of Aaron Rodgers and his history with this Cowboys team. I mean, I don't know how many times our hearts have been broken because of that guy. Aaron Rodgers has done it again! So, you got plans of doing a whole timeline of Aaron Rodgers versus the Cowboys. But when you're watching Monday night, 
planes have to change pretty quick. And he's coming out of the game. The fans don't really care that your show's not as good because the Rogers is gone. You still got to put on an entertaining show. And so I admit this week was a little bit hard for me trying to think of creative ways to do it, but luckily we got a pretty good show for fans today. All right, so we're gonna walk to player arrivals where the guys get to show off all their fashion and strut the blue carpet. The fashion on game day is a huge driver of engagement and yeah, our fans love it. There's a lot of players on our team that spend a lot of time and money on their fashion, so being able to highlight that uh, is it's fun. Drew Ski, Drew Ferguson, director of creative video. He's gonna take it from here with player arrivals. Yeah, I mean, player arrivals is kind of transformed into this crazy thing where like, it's who can kind of outdress each other the most. Currently, it's kind of between CD and J. Ron Curse. It's back to back every week. Our players are competitive as professional athletes, so I think their competitiveness translates into their fashion and, you know, one-upping each other. So the crazy thing is you see all the people over there, man. Let's go, Cowboys! Let's get it! Go! All these people got here like five and a half, six hours prior to kickoff. And they're all here for, you know, hopefully a signature. It's kind of crazy, but we've got diehard fans out here. Love that. Absolutely wild. It don't matter if Dak pulls up with a buddy. It don't matter if Dak's wearing sweats. Like, that is always the reaction you get when Dak comes out. There's definitely a pressure push to post things as quickly as possible. Speed is of the essence. All right, so we're gonna go Dak solo because his fit is swagging. So Colina, our photographer, gets him, edits him, sends him off to us. He can prep captions beforehand, but you know, I think you gotta let the photo speak for itself a lot of times. We kind of try to take inspiration from their their outfits. Sunday strike. Yeah, Sunday strike. That's how it happens. Okay guys, everybody got me here on cams. That'd be great if I get a little acknowledgement out in the studio. We're coming up on three minutes, everybody. Uh, we're getting ready for our pregame show. Our live shots will go back to Caden back at the star. So we're just waiting for us to hear back from Caden for him to tell us when we're gonna go get our hits in. I'm talking to Roxanne Medina, who's shooting our live interviews and getting our live shots for us at the stadium. Tell him to be ready by 2.05, but he's on at 2.08. 2.08. So we get early. 2.08, okay. Yeah. Now, man, we're gonna run our open in three. Stand by, Nick. Two, one, roll. Go Cowboys! Let's go on the sideline with Nick Eatman, who joins us now. Nick, looking great out there as usual. Tell me, what does the atmosphere feel like in the first game of the season at home? Here comes Nick Full. Take. Well, I think you just said it right there. It's the first game of the season. The Cowboy fans, though, after last week's game, everybody is, is pumped up about this one. We still got, you know, about an hour to go, and, and still you can tell that it's going to be an electric atmosphere. Here doing pregame warm-ups. I mean, the great thing about pregame warm-ups is you can't get flagged by the league of what you're wearing too. So you see all kinds of guys still wearing all kinds of jewelry and stuff like that. Guys in different cleats. Tony Pollard. He's wearing these custom St. Jude cleats. So once he stops, we're gonna get some photos of those because there's one thing I don't mess with, and it's it's coaches and their warm-ups. Well, you're talking about expectations. They're already talking Super Bowl around here after the Cowboys 40 to nothing dismantling of the Giants last week. And rightfully so. Cowboys fans, it's time to get pregame kicked off. Everybody in the control room, let's have a great 
pregame and game, during pregame, those 28 minutes are planned and rehearsed to the second. DCC is 10. Stand by for DCC. And, and I know that sounds extreme, but, but it literally is to the second. Forty-five seconds to intros. We're at the Cowboys locker room, and we're gonna have our big group come out. So they'll do a big prayer, and then we'll run out of the tunnels with them on the field. And there they are, your Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. All right, next up, football. Stand by to send the team. Steve, go ahead and send them. Cowboys Nation, your 2023 Dallas Cowboys. And let's roll the first starter. Let's meet our starting offense. Go ahead. Number 88, C.D. Lamb. And by and push. Number 20, Tony Pollard. And push. And your quarterback, number four, Dak Prescott. The real meat of that show where, where the timing is most crucial is basically from the time our team hits the field through the national anthem, the coin toss, and then kickoff. Stand by, bring your music out, and put your graphic up, and start your read. Fans to Honor America, please join us in singing the national anthem. Fan shots and then coin toss. We'll hit coin toss at 322.15. I am constantly impressed by the creative team that we have. There is a lot happening. It's a high pressure, but a high reward environment for sure. Three minutes to kick off. Let's go. Standing by for coin toss. Make sure we got our captain. We're about to do the coin toss now. These are our honorary captains for the game. And let's go with our coin toss read. Fans, direct your attention to midfield for today's coin toss. This team is deep, talented. They're for real everywhere. Boy, there are some interesting matchups here today. So many interesting stories. That's the beautiful part about the Cowboys is, you know, there's always great storylines. There's always stuff to cover. You guys got it. You guys got it. All the content we produce and the engagement that we get is really because we just have such a large fan base that's so interested and so engaged. And it's a team that's very interesting. And by the way, I think this year they're really good. We got the best offense, the best defense, the best corner, the best running back, yeah. the best tight end. Yeah. New York will kick off. Good luck, gentlemen. All right, it's game time. Let's go. 40 seconds to kick off. Nice pregame, everyone. Success to me is defined by getting to do something with a, a unique group of people that all have individual skill sets that they bring to the whole to make 100,000 people really, really excited on a game day and, and have fun. Usually I'm sitting beside Nick Eatman and uh, we'll typically give each other a nice little pound and like we're here another year, here we go. We know how blessed we are to be able to be in this position and never want to lose that excitement of being at an NFL game. Let's start the 2023 season. Here we go, nice job everybody. Dial in, we'll have a great game.